everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com and we're here doing another classic capture. Today we're doing our very first Sega Master System um, classic capture and today we're playing Afterburner. Um, if you don't know what the Sega Master System is, uh, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised because the Sega Master System was a 8-bit console that uh, competed with the NES back in the day and uh, didn't sell well here in the States but was very popular in Europe. Um, because I'm, you know how Europeans are weird with yeah. their bagels and their <laughs> creme brulees. And well, that's only one part of Europe. Um, and you're forgetting you're forgetting tea and crumpets. And their, their metric system. Yeah, that's just weird. How, how dare you go ten base? Seriously. Um, so if you've ever played Afterburner, you're probably wondering what the hell this is. Uh, this is the original Afterburner, um, like the original. Uh, you probably played Afterburner either in the arcades or uh, on the Sega Genesis, which is, you know, the console after this oh, one. Oh man, that was tubular. Yeah, it was. Um, and you, you, if, you're, if you're not familiar with the Master System, you will find out that many of your favorite arcade Sega titles, especially for the early to mid-90s, probably appeared on the Master System in an 8-bit version, which is, you know, this is one of them. Um, and uh, this game, it doesn't hold up very well. Um, Control-wise, if you can't tell, the frame rate is really bad. It's uh, it's really hard to determine what's coming at you and depth. I mean, it, it's hard to complain about an older game, but I'm, I'm dodging these missiles. I have no idea how I did that. Also, when we turned out 3D support, it wasn't very impressive. Yeah. Uh, oh, just, that's didn't get right. Any separation. Yeah, that's actually one of the things you should mention. Yes, the Sega Master System for some of the games supported 3D. This was not one of them, though. Screw you, 3DS. And... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's afterburner as you might know it, but just less so. Um, it's difficult. The controls are kind of sticky. Um, like I said, depth of field is kind of difficult, and um, I don't know. Um, it's it's probably. I mean, if you own a master system, I guess you'll want it for collection purposes. But I would not be popping this out to play it anytime soon after this. Um, but, you know, the basic concept is here, you're a jet plane and you have infinite missiles and one bolt missile sh takes you out. Um, you fly across this infinite ocean that never ends, you're, you don't run out of gas, and, you know, these, uh, your enemies don't have uh, very good battle tactics, they keep flying in front of you. That's some really choppy water, too. Well, it's, the whole thing is choppy, choppy. In fact, I think the capture looks better than it does on the TV, because on the TV it looks even, um, uh, Worse. Worse. <laughs> Worse would be. <laughs> it's so bad, Bobby's at a loss for words. Yes, because it, it, it's it, it's almost stuttering. I thought there was a problem with the game initially, and I did a little research, and no, it's just 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 the way it is. <laughs> it's just one of those things. <laughs> and I keep dying because you, you see, it's just it's like these really cheap deaths. Um, eventually, in this one, actually make it to the second level, and after that, I kind of just gave up. Um, it, it's, you know, I don't know. So, Sega Master System, um, you can probably pick it up for about 50 bucks, um, in decent condition. Uh, it, it, it be a little more, uh, uh, specific, the, you're referring to the Master System itself. Yeah, the, ma oh yeah, Master, yeah, you, yeah you not the game, I'm the, sorry. You can pick up Afterburner for about 50 bucks. Yeah, this bucks. crappy it's a, it's Afterburner for five, yeah. 50. Um, you can actually pick this game up for about five dollars, actually. Mm. It's about five bucks anywhere you go. Uh, with the case, sometimes people want ten dollars. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't need the case unless you're a uh, OCD collector, I guess. Um, and if you really want this game, um, but you have to buy the Master System first. And um, you know, generally speaking, Master System is um, a NES competitor, so the games are, you know. They're, they're similar in design. Actually, I think the Master System was capable capable of some um, better visuals generally. Um, this is not the greatest example, although this is fairly impressive considering you. this was released in 1987. Um, it definitely doesn't look bad for the age. Yeah, it does not look bad for the age, but, you know, control-wise, it, it, it doesn't hold up. <laughs> um... I don't know how I made it through here. Um, one of the key things about Afterburner, if you've ever played one, especially the PSN arcade release of uh, Climax, is you turn left and right real is quick you, you, and you, you do have a roll. seizure yeah. during the game, too, by the way. <laughs> just, just go check out our video. I think we have a video for that, right? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, just just go check it out if you want to have a seizure. Yes. Um, that's a better game overall, anyway. And I like how the environment just, like, just changed to orange. It's a field now. Look, it's grass. And the, the frame rate just goes even worse, because <laughs> now it's so populating. Off. Now you're, you're flying over grass. <laughs> Man, there, there, there were so many trees back then. Yeah. 
I will say that if you're gonna play, if you want to play Afterburner and you don't want to pay for the retro, call it remake, um, which is on the newer consoles, um, Afterburner 2 on the Sega Genesis is probably your best option, which we'll be doing eventually for the Classic Capture series. Um, I felt like doing a Master System review because I have a few games for it I picked up, uh, and this one is probably the better known title um, in the the of all the ones I bought. Um, second might, would be Super Hangon, probably, I think. Maybe, yeah. Because like, no one really kn knows about Ghostbusters on the Master System. Yeah, just like some people didn't know the Master System had a game in it. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's true. It has a game built into the goddamn firmware. Um, at this point, I said, you know what, I'm done playing. I'm actually going to let the computer play for a little bit here and see if it does any better. And it does, because it's not... Um, confined by the crappy controls. Also, it's a computer. Yeah, it's always going to be better than true. us. Although, it, it, it still doesn't make it a second level, so I, I beat the computer, as far as that's concerned. What's the point of having a mode where it, it plays itself? Oh, be, because then then you can you know, sit back and it's like enjoying a movie? That's true. It's very cinematic. This is yeah. Top this is this Top is, Gun right this here. This is late 80s, motherfucker. What, what do you expect? <laughs> It, I, I, at this point, it usually says "insert coin" in in the, in you know uh, at the arcade. I, I'd rather see. Uh, and you notice he keeps just keeps barreling, <laughs> just doesn't <laughs> stop. Yes, sir, Fuck, that, that is motion sickness. That is the, the problem with you. Yeah, I I suck at it. Well, everyone, this was a classic capture for Afterburner for the Sega Master System. It is about five dollars. It is probably not worth your time unless you own a Master System and want to collect everything that's on it. Um, please subscribe and let us know what you think. There'll be more Master System coming soon. Review for Master System coming soon. Yes. Afterburner in my heart.